Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be solving number 5 from the Amy 1 of 2020. Now this Amy problem was actually, even though it's quite easy to solve, it actually stumped a lot of people on the test because of how trolly it is. Most of the people ended up overcounting for cases or sometimes even undercounting and this problem just has a lot of nuances that people really miss during the test. So that's why today I'll be going over it and how to solve it. Six cards, numbered one through six, are lined up in a row. Find out the number of arrangements of these six cards where one of the cards can be removed, leaving the remaining five cards in either ascending or descending order. Okay, so for this kind of counting problem, I think it would benefit benefit us greatly if we drew a diagram. Like, not we don't have to draw every case, but just a sample case so we get an idea of what this kind of looks like. So I'll be doing that right now. Okay, so here we have six cards, and we can put them either in ascending or descending order. Well, first we notice that ascending and descending chord order, the these cases are identical, because something that's ascending this way, for instance, if I label these one, two, three, four, five, and six, that's the same thing as if this is that's ascending, but if we look from the other way. It's six, five, four, three, two, one. So here, these two cases are identical. So in order to solve for this problem, we just need to find one of these cases and then multiply it by two. So we have six cards. We need to choose five of them to be in ascending order. And we can place the sixth one wherever we want because as the problem says, we're going to remove it and hopefully leave the other five cards in ascending order. So, how many ways can we do this? There are six choose five ways to choose six numbers to count, to six choose five ways to choose five numbers to be in ascending order. So, here I'll do it as one, two, four, Five, six choose five ways to get six to get five cards in ascending order, and then wherever that final sixth card is, there's six different ways to put it. This final card could go here, 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 or here. So the final card can go in a in a total of six ways. And then that gives us 36 cases off the bat. Now, m this is where some people would get messed up on the test because they realize, hey, it's a nice clean number. It seems like I got an answer. So they just multiply this by two and bada bing, bada boom, that's their answer. But when doing this problem, you got to remember, this is Amy. They're going to try to make the heart as, as problematic as possible. So we got to think about overcounting in this scenario. And what do I mean by that? Well, look at this example, for instance. One, two, four, three, five, and six. In this arrangement, either four could be removed or three could be removed, and the sequence would be ascending. So we see that that's clearly a problem in this case, and that this, ca this arrangement would be valid for either the three or four case. So it's going to be counted twice. We realize that with each of these pairs like these, we're going to get an overcounting of twice. In order to cancel that out, we need to count. We have to subtract all the overcounting we've done. So we have to count. We have to subtract one from each of these said cases. Each of these cases is a pair of consecutive integers. So one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five, six. So. There's five such ways in, re in which we can overcount in this style. So, from our total result, we can subtract five to take account for this case. 
Now, if we now another way to overcount that we've also failed to consider is similar to this case, but even bigger. Instead of having two consecutive numbers, what if we just do the ideal case and say they're all consecutive? Then with that, we realize there's six, there's six ways we could take our numbers from this. And even though it's the same arrangement all six times, it's going to be counted six times through our simple computation. So in this case, we'd have overcounted five times, giving us another ways, another five ways to subtract from there. So in order to make this right, we subtract from five once again. So all in all, we got this 36 originally by just choosing six choose five cards to put in ascending ascending order with six final places for the final card. Then from there, we subtracted five from all the different consecutive pairs that could have been counted twice each. We just subtracted one from five of those. And then finally, we subtracted five once again from this one huge consecutive chain which could be counted six times, and we subtracted five to take account for this one time. So, all in all, we get there's 26 different ways to put the cards in ascending or descending orders. However, our 26, as we've, as I've mentioned, only counts for one case. So, in order to get our true answer, we've got to multiply this by two. So, because these two case, because there are two cases that are identical, and the 26 is for one of the cases. We have to multiply it by 2 to get the total number of cases, giving us 52 possible cases. In this problem, all you have to watch out for is all this overcounting. So, on the real, so if you ever take the real test and you see a problem like this, remember what diff, what level of test you're taking. You're taking an Amy test. So, there's no way this or maybe even these two are going to be suffice. You got to check all the possibilities to make sure you're not missing any cases. And that's how you do this problem number five. Not particularly hard, but really trolly.